Wow, where am I? You're in Azeroth, kid. Really? Like in the game? No, silly, the real one. What? How did that happen? I don't know, it's a pretty shaky premise, but since you're here, you could probably use a few pointers. Nah, I got this. I just need to gear up, and then I'll be off to fight demons and- Fight demons? Why, you've already made the number one most common mistake that people new to the real Azeroth make. Trying to save the world. Oh. Think about it, you're like three feet tall. Nothing will get you killed faster than going up against a bunch of demons. Just ask all the NPCs who got killed off at the beginning of the expansion. Oh, that's a good point. I guess I do need your help. All right, well, first of all, you're gonna meet a lot of people who want you to do things for them. This could range from getting frog legs for their soup to winning entire wars for them in one afternoon. Are you there, a random tiny person who just wandered by? Say, my entire family was just murdered by ravenous demon chickens, and I thought maybe you could single-handedly wipe them all out for me. What do you say? Oh, so I should be helpful, so people will like me and- No, they... it is very important that you do not do what anyone asks you to do. Even if they try to entice you with offers of gold or magic clothing, the best course of action is to end the conversation immediately and never speak to that person again. I cannot help you. Good day, sir. But I can give you these boots that'll make you smarter and more. I said good day, sir. Aw. Ah, great job, buddy. Now then, you'll need to spend all your time in cities where it's safe, but city life comes with some hidden dangers of its own. Not least of these are elevators. Elevators? That's right. This is a much more pressing issue for members of the Horde, but one should always be wary of these insidious death traps just in case. But then how do I, you know, go up and down? If you need to get down from a high elevation, it's much safer to descend atop any winged beast you may have managed to acquire, with or without any kind of safety harness, than to even set foot on or around an elevator. Even if that beast is on fire? Yep, still safer. Good to know. So, since I'm not going out adventuring, I guess I should open up a shop here in town or something, right? Wrong! Important people like shop vendors are primary targets when the other faction invades. The trick to staying alive is to stand as still as possible and contribute absolutely nothing to society. Oh, like these guys? Yes, that's perfect. Now just stand there and look unimportant. Okay, got it. Well, I'm bored. I think I'll go find somewhere Otar, else. Huh, ah. <laughs> thought that was an NPC at first. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that's good enough. <laughs> <laughs>